Hi, I'm Stan Cody. I'm a product designer at Fender. And I'm Rick Hines, the amp guy at Fender. And uh, we're here today to talk about the Benz compressor pedal. Now, first and foremost, you know, as a guitarist, I always feel like this is one of those elusive pedals that guitarists have a really hard time explaining what it does and how it works. Um, you feel it sometimes, but you know, when we designed this pedal kind of from scratch, uh, we took a, a unique approach. Compressors, there's lots of different families of compressors, and you know, there are like very precise studio kinds of compressors. Uh, there's a long lineage of guitar stomp compressors, and they have very different feels and textures. Um, for me, as a guitar player, I like the stomp guitar style compressor more than I like the classical um, straight up studio compressor. So this is in that family of things, but there's some unique uh, things about it that, that make it kind of cool. So. Um, it uses a part called an operational transconductance amp, which is a really fancy way of saying it can vary the volume of your signal from a control signal. So it watches how loud your signal is, and when you get too loud, it starts to turn you down automatically. Um, so that's really handy, like a great playing place for that is if you are um, a singer and you're singing and playing rhythm guitar, or maybe your rhythm guitar, you don't want to have to worry about being exactly perfectly even. So the compressor can, when you play a little too loud, it can kind of bring you down a little bit. When you play a little too quietly, you can kind of bring you up so it makes the performance a little more even. Um, I can actually show you that on this compressor. So this is set up with a fair amount of compression. Um, if we bypass it, um, you can hear I'll play a quiet note and I'll play a loud note. So just quiet and loud. Quiet. Loud. So now with the compressor on, I'll play quiet, same, about the same hardness, and then hard again. And I'll do that same thing. So if I'm a little sloppy with my pick technique, it helps to kind of compensate for that. Now one of the things about that is you noticed that second um, sound when I hit the chord really hard. This is probably over compressed for what you'd really use, but compressors when you drive them too hard, they can kind of take a little bit of the life out of stuff. So we put a feature in um, that's a blend control that lets you blend in some of the natural dynamics of your playing. So I'll play hard. Um, picking consistently and Rick can turn the blend control and kind of bring some of that in. You can kind of hear some of the life come back to it. So that's totally just the straight guitar sound. And then he'll start blending in the compression. So then that's the more flattened thing. And if you come back to about, I don't know, a third of the way back or something, you get where you can still hear It still has some life to it. Well, it's got that thing to it where a lot of country players, when they do chicken picking or all that kind of stuff, you kind of hear that sound. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you dig into it, even though you feel the compression, it's a really warm, kind of squishy sound. It feels really comfortable and it just sounds really good. There's no, nothing harsh about it. Yeah, compression for me, it almost, it's like taking a clean sound, but it gives it some of the same characteristics of playing with a lot of overdrive, just clean, but it gives you all that extra sustain on a note. <laughs> just lets you hang in space. Except for the fact that it's completely beautiful and glassy. It gives you a range of expression where you can hear more of what you're doing with your pick. Yeah, so everything from subtle to extreme, it just it sounds good and it seems to fit any sort of uh, application. Yeah, this compressor sometimes can be noisy, so this actually has two uh, of the operational transconductance amps that work at the same time, and by mixing them together, you can kind of 
tuck the noise down a little bit. So it has a cool feature there. And the other thing about it is the way it does the analog math inside is very precise and very fast. So when I'm playing, some compressors can have a big giant pop at the beginning of the note when it's like, oh, I got to turn something down. And it jumps in and it takes a little bit of time. This one doesn't so much do that. So I can play um, quietly and loudly and it just comes in and grabs the note and turns the volume down, but it doesn't smack you in the face first. So. So it tends to be pretty transparent as a result. I've heard other ones that sometimes they, that when you do that, it clamps down on the note. It's a little harsh and you, it feels um, jarring mm -hmm. to, to my ear. And this one doesn't do that. Yeah. The other thing I notice is uh, when, you, when you're hitting the, comp the compression or you're hitting this hard, the jewel actually changes color to, to, yeah. to show that. Yeah, compression can be really subtle. And so um, we wanted to give people a way to know when it was happening. Um, because too much compression, again, can kind of take the life out of stuff. So having an indicator that just tells you when it's actually doing something. So like I'll play again quietly, you'll see it doesn't do much. If you can watch the indicator. So when it's on solid like that, it's compressing all the time. And when it's flickering, it's only compressing on the very loudest peaks of the note. Well, one of the great things also about the Benz pedal and all the new Fender pedals is uh, we really thought about players when they play live or are dealing with situations that happen to all of us. Uh, so one of the things that, that we did is it's got a door at the bottom that's an easy flip open so you can put your 9 volt in there really quickly if you got to change it on the fly if you're on stage. Uh, the other thing too is you probably noticed that it's got glowing knobs which is a really nice feature if you're actually on stage you need to see where everything's set but you have the ability to switch it in the back and turn those lights off so you can actually preserve the battery if, if you need to. Um, one other thing that's cool for people that have big pedal boards is you have the inputs and outputs slightly at a, at a different angle so that you can actually get the pedals closer if you're building a pedal board so they fit nicely. Sometimes if they're parallel, you've got to put the pedals further out. What you're hearing today, by the way, just for me, it's a straight up Telecaster right into the Benz compressor and then directly into a Blues Junior. Rick's playing a straight up Strat, also through a Benz compressor into a Princeton Reverb. Thanks for checking out the Benz compressor with us today and stay tuned for more videos. Mm.